Let's talk about the game that's about to be begin. Mumbai Indians versus the Delhi Daredevils. It promises to be quite a thriller. And the news is that Mumbai Indians have won the toss. They've chosen to bat first. The right way to go, sort of, at the, the Wankhede. Uh, I'm surprised with Mumbai Indians winning the toss and then deciding to bat first at the Wankhede because there will be some life on that pitch early on. And Delhi Daredevils have a good fast bowling attack. So I'm a little surprised with Mumbai Indians doing that. Probably, probably the pitch is different. But history has showed that there is a bit of pace and bounce on this pitch. And Delhi have a good fast bowling attack. Moni Mokhal is back. Umesh Yadav is in the squad. Irfan Pathan. Uh, so they have they have a bit of pace in that in that in that bowling lineup. So we'll have to wait and see how much uh, see movement that surface has uh, uh, at the beginning. Right, and also. For Delhi, the big question is, will Virendra Sehwag play? Because after having suffered back-to-back -back losses, Delhi are in desperate need of logging full points against Mumbai today. And that's why they need Virendra Sehwag more than ever before in this IPL. Back to back, without out Delhi's talisman in the first two matches, and the batting floundered miserably. Delhi's middle order crumbled in both the games. And with Kevin Peterson yeah. and Jesse Ryder to sideline for the entire tournament, Delhi need a fit Seva firing on all cylinders. Obviously, the news that we're getting at the moment is that Vivendra Seva will actually not be playing in this match as well. And a look at people's IPL record will make it amply clear how important the batsman has been for Delhi, massing close to 1900 runs in 66 matches. And that's why Seva missing this match against Mumbai will be a huge, huge blow to Delhi. But the big question. Obviously, is that uh, can Delhi actually come over the loss of Virendra Sehwag? Dada? No, I don't think so. I think that Delhi needs Virendra Sehwag uh, very much in this squad. They are 2 0 down and, and it's an important game for them. Uh, but obviously, he must be having a serious injury. That's the reason he's been missing so many number of games. Uh, but Delhi will, will miss Virendra Sehwag more so this year. Because there's no Peterson, there's no Ross Taylor, and obviously Jesse Ryder is, uh, hasn't come from New Zealand for the reasons we all know. So from that point of view, Sehwag's inclusion in this team was was very important this season, even more than what it was last season. And I think uh, they will miss him because the RC batting has looked very very brittle. Right, uh, Nikhil, within the Sehwag missing, it's going to be a huge problem. Well, more than Mone Mokal at this moment in time, the Delhi side needs to win the Sehwag. Maybe maybe. Mumbai have even things out then, deciding <laughs> to bat first on that track at the Vankhede. Well, put a lot of pressure when uh, Delhi goes out to um, chase. But, uh, of course, you're only dependent on two batsmen, Jay Vardhane, as well as David Warner to fire so that they can go the distance. Were short, batsmen or two short, and that's been the problem. Until unless now that uh, Mone Mokal is or Ashish Nera, one of these uh, fast bowlers or Umesh Yadav, Goes and picks up a fiver, you know, uh, bowl out of that skin, win the game single-handedly as a bowler, and Delhi don't have to chase too many on board. I think then you've got a good enough chance. But if uh, you know Mumbai get about 150, 160, it'll get very, very difficult for the Delhi side to go and chase that big a total when they we're only dependent on two batsmen. Until unless somebody plays an innings out of their skin, one of our domestic stars. Now, Kedar Jadav, they brought him in and he's had a fantastic domestic series. So, obviously, that could be key. He's going to be the wicketkeeper batsman for Delhi. You know what? There are also two men on who both teams are going to rely. Obviously, David Warner for Delhi and Kiran Pollard for Mumbai. And what I'll do is I'll go across and take a look at their last innings, especially in the way they play and the kind of strategies the team should actually devise to take care of these two men. Because you have to remember, Kiran Pollard, won Mumbai the last game single-handedly with that blinder of a catch and obviously that knock he played before that. But also, there is David Warner who actually set up the 77 runs against Rajasthan Royals. He set up that match. But first, let's take a look at Kiran Pollard. He bats fabulously well, especially hitting that we Look at the way he's gotten his runs. Most of his runs have come in the Wii. And so if I go across to Saurav Ganguly and Saurav, if you have to devise a strategy actually keep Kiran Pollard in check, what would it be? I think it will be a different kettle of fish for him today because this wicket will have a bit of pace and bounce. So for somebody like Kiran Pollard with the, with the uh, fast bowlers, with the Delhi fast bowlers bowl short, they'll have to make sure that they keep Moni Mokil and Umesh Yadav for Kiran Pollard. There will be a bit of pace and bit of carry, so it will not be easy for him. But at the present moment, he's he's in good form. The good thing that Mumbai Indians have done is they're going to push him up the batting order. 
that's what we've been reading in the papers because he needs time if you remember in a in our show before the game uh, previous game we said that kiran polar has been a waste for mumbai indians for the last three seasons because they bat him too low uh, 3/4 of his uh, tenure he hasn't got enough enough overs to bat and and it's good to see that john wright has pushed him up the batting order to give him a, to allow him to time allow him time to get set because if he gets his eye in uh, he hits sixes from the crease which is so important in any format of the game so there's never pressure on the batsman and on the team you saw his knock in the last game mumbai were in a bit of trouble but he played an absolute blinder so for me kiran pollard has to bat immediately after 10 overs whoever is batting whoever is sitting in the dressing room he has to be up in the batting order at number uh, uh, just after 10 overs right and i don't know nikhil what your strategy is but if i was keeper i'd actually tell my fielders who standing on the boundary like just keep pushing the rope a little bit behind you <laughs> just keep pushing the rope a rope behind you bit behind you because after 10 over it probably be a sizable distance you could get him caught well the important thing you know when you got batsman like him you got batsman like chris gale or uh, any batsman that you believe can run away with the game single handedly you got to try and get them out in the first 5 7 runs because they once they get used to the pace and bounce of the wicket you know it'll get very very difficult and then uh, you know up post 15 uh, 17 runs they'll all be looking to play the big shots so then it gets very difficult for any bowler to contain them but the mantra has to be try and get them out you know you got to be a little more aggressive with them when these sort of batsmen are batting absolutely and that's your only chance because they're going to hit you anyway it doesn't matter where you bowl so you might as well try and get them out leak a few runs it doesn't matter if you can actually get their wickets because they'll, they'll be the most prized catch let's have all those playing today actually in that match between delhi and mumbai can change that around they can actually post some big scores and uh, i'll come to you straight up dada well, who's your pick for that match between mumbai and delhi I think Delhi have a chance because Mumbai are batting first and, and they they'll get to use the wicket which has a bit of seam movement so uh, I I would still back Mumbai to win it looking at the form they have been and looking at the way Delhi has played in this two two matches there's no Virendra Sehwag but the only thing going for Delhi is they'll have an opportunity to bowl on a pitch which might just do something but obviously I'm backing Mumbai to win it All right. Uh, so maybe all the punters watching Dada actually says that he is backing Mumbai to win it, even though he's giving Delhi a chance. So he's actually making you guess and forcing you to make the choice. But uh, Nikhil, what's your bet for this well, one? The heart is saying Delhi, and it just continues to keep on saying that. But you know, the head is saying something else when you're trying to get the combination right and Delhi's problems. So you've got to go with Mumbai. All right. Uh, so both our experts are actually. backing mumbai whether that happens or not we'll see a time now for a look at our poll graphics the the poll the headlines today poll which asks the question can delhi actually register first win of the season in a key clash against mumbai and here is the result yes 40% no 60% so the delhi fans finally logging on and actually having their say on that note we'll have to say bye bye and remember at 11:30 tune in because we'll be talking delhi versus mumbai and let's hope it actually lives up to the billing for it is going to be or hopefully going to be a great great test thanks a lot dada thanks a lot nikhil and thanks a lot viewers for tuning in